Okay, I mean with all respect and love as a business owner to business owners or to general managers, um, listen to me. If you're really on the fence about should you invest in training and, and, and uh, getting your team educated, my gosh. I mean, Zig Ziglar said it the best. He said, you know what's worse than training somebody at your dealership and then having them leave? is not training somebody and having them stay. Training by far is the most incredible, powerful thing that you can do for your dealership. The average dealership sells about 96 cars. The average dealership has about 10 salespeople. So it's about 9.6 units you know, per salesperson. On top of that though, the average dealership spends roughly $600 per car in advertising. So if you do the math, it blows me away that the average dealership spends, you know, almost $6,000 a month in advertising per salesperson. $60,000 approximately per salesperson per year. But yet, they don't spend a fraction of a fraction of that type of money to train that person. So let me make sure I understand this correctly. You're going to drop $600 per car, roughly it's going to be for, if you have 10 salespeople, it's roughly about $6,000 a month per salesperson in advertising. But yet most salespeople have little or uh, uh, profound or usable training education. You can't use the antiquated uh, VHS and beta tapes of, of training from back in the day. And you can't look at one of the old school trainers you know, that, that was good at the road to the sale, you know, 20, 30 years ago, and, and they're trying to reinvent themselves and, and look at them for internet training, for BDC training, for digital marketing training, for social media training. You can't do that. You need to turn around and invest in your people to make sure that they are equipped with the knowledge, resources, and skills to sell more cars more often and more profitably. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, Sean, let's, let's go into this. If you go into the average dealership out of the 17,500 you know, plus dealerships in the country that are franchised, the vast majority of those dealerships have little or no training. The, the training they have might be OEM training. I'm not talking about that. They might have basic training like the road to the sale. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about real training. We say that this is your own business to sales consultants. We say this, you know, treat it like it's your own business, but we don't teach them how to be entrepreneurs. We don't teach them how to build their own business. We don't empower them on how to be successful. I mean, look at real estate agents. They're all over the place, branding and marketing. I, I train association after association, you know, state, local, NADA, I've, I've trained NCM, I've had my own internet sales 20 group, and I've talked to and trained personally 7,000 automotive professionals. 2,000 of those people have been dealer principals and general managers, 2,000 of them. You know what I found is that there is a huge disconnect of what type of curriculum. A, a showroom consultant should be trained not just in the road to the sale, but they should be trained a little bit in entrepreneurship and marketing and advertising and branding and PR. Uh, yeah, I'm not just talking about objections and rebuttals. I'm talking about social media, online reputation, how to use video to create video uh, reviews or video testimonials that get indexed. I mean, there's so many things that a showroom consultant needs to know that they don't know right now. And then we're going to go into the reality of internet sales. Every showroom consultant should be technically an internet manager, internet consultant. And they should be. When 92 to 99% of Americans are going online before they step into the dealership, but yet such a profound amount of salespeople don't know how to engage and, and uh, qualify, identify wants, wishes, expectations, meet them, exceed them for internet customers, it blows me away. Edmunds.com. Kelly Blue Book, NADA guides, you know, these are huge, huge information sites, but most people don't even know about them. Dealers spend tens of thousands of dollars on vendors like Auto Buy Tell, like uh, Cars Direct, like Delix, you know, um, like True Car, like Auto USA, and other companies, and they, they buy all these leads, but they don't even understand how these uh, websites work and how these leads work and where people are coming from. I mean, for the love of God, there is a tremendous amount of information that, that your people need. I mean, if you're going to spend all that money, and that was being conservative, I'm just saying averages. There's dealerships that are spending more than uh, $60,000 a month. They're spending $100,000, $200,000, you know, $300,000, a half a million dollars a month. Yes, these are dealer groups, 
But what I'm saying is that they have all this money that they're just dropping and dropping for a fresh opportunity for an 18 to 20 percent closing ratio for a walk-in, for a 10 to 12 percent closing ratio on the internet, you know, up. But what are we doing to cultivate quality human beings, cultivate quality professionals? I just want to give you all something to think about. Training is essential. You need to train. And if you're interested in getting your staff trained, come talk to me, Sean V. Bradley, 267-319-6776. That's my cell phone. Again, that's 267-319-6776. So if you're asking yourself, why should I train or should I train my staff? Should I train my car dealership? Should I train my dealership? The answer is heck yes. I'll wait for your call.